so uh, we go to the theoretical single stage cycle for our uh, refrigeration system so uh, we will tackle now the uh, four components for the uh, single stage cycle so uh, we have here the condenser and we have this uh, expansion valve and we have the uh, evaporator And we have this uh, compressor. This is our compressor. So, uh, for before compression, we use a refrigerant. So, uh, uh, our liquid refrigerant from this from the evaporator then uh, will be compressed by our compressor and it passes to the uh, condenser where we have the uh, Q R Q reject and uh, it goes to the uh, expansion valve down to the evaporator and we have this the uh, QL or this the uh, the QRF this is our uh, the desired effect okay so uh, it's called theoretical because uh, we have some assumptions to uh, make the uh, design appear as desirable to uh, or to approach the uh, ideal model so uh, for example uh, we will uh, from one then two and this is 3 and point 4 from uh, 1 to 2 we have that assumption that it is uh, uh, isenthalpic or this uh, enthalpy is constant and from process 3 to 4 this is uh, uh, isentropic or the entropy is constant so we will draw the uh, diagram here in order to analyze our system so uh, we have uh, first the uh, uh, pH uh, the, the pH diagram so uh, this is our pH diagram here P means pressure and H means the uh, enthalpy. So uh, this all applied for all the this is all applied for all for all refrigerant types of refrigerant. So uh, curve and this is the uh, our critical point. So uh, from process of uh, uh, for uh, from point one here, 
so if that is uh, isentalpic it would be a straight line down downwards okay and uh, from process 2 to 3 that is uh, of equal pressure and process uh, 3 to 4 we have here okay this is point 2 this is point 3 and that is point 4 so uh, there are assumptions that from point 1 here this point 1 is uh, considered to be saturated liquid and by throttling so uh, we have this uh, enthalpy is constant so as you can see the state or the point 2 is a mixture of liquid and vapor but of course of lower pressure and uh, a lower temperature and as it passes through the evaporator wherein we have this uh, Q ref here and the assumption is at point 3 at the exit the, uh, the exit of uh, the evaporator it is assumed to be saturated vapor so uh, as we uh, compress it since uh, our compressor only handles uh, vapor so uh, it is purely its quality is equal to 1 or 100 percent vapor because our condenser only handles uh, vapor state so uh, we know uh, as we compress the refrigerant here of course the temperature will increase okay so at point 4 this is our T max here so at the temperature 4 will be the uh, maximum temperature for our uh, cycle okay so This is the pH diagram. So, about for the uh, in a, able to uh, understand, we will draw also the uh, TS diagram. So, uh, the temperature versus the temperature versus the entropy diagram so uh, this is the uh, critical point here so that one So uh, this is point one. As uh, we review, point one to point two. So uh, this is our point two, which is uh, isentalpic, and this is our um, this is our point three here. Also, our point three will be here at the uh, our point 3 
will be here because we assume that the uh, exit of our evaporator would be the saturated vapor or 100% uh, quality this is our point 3 so uh, we draw a straight line here okay so this will be our point 4 wherein as you can see in the figure that is uh, the maximum temperature so again we would uh, assume that it is isentropic compression so uh, that is uh, the diagrams we have the uh, pH diagram and the uh, temperature versus entropy diagram in order to uh, help us analyze the uh, uh, single stage uh, refrigeration system so now we can be able to uh, derive or derive the uh, what is or to, de to determine what is the uh, re refrigerating effect so uh, we label the uh, states here from point 0.1 to point 0.4 so uh, applying our knowledge in uh, the thermodynamics we're in uh, the energy in and is equivalent to energy out so uh, we have the QRF now the QRF would be um, H3 minus H2 okay so this is in terms of uh, per kilogram okay this is uh, this is BTU per pound or uh, kilojoule per kilogram so uh, of course, uh, so uh, we need the work of our compressor. Okay, so we have we have work that work C. We're in the work of our compressor. So uh, the work of our compressor from work three to four. is uh, h4 minus h3 you have workable compressor here it is h4 minus h3 because uh, the uh, as uh, we draw the uh, example this is our compressor here okay that be our point four and this should be our point three and this should be our direction of our work towards our compressor because that is uh, the work input so uh, WC is equivalent to H4 this is out and minus 3 so energy in energy out the energy in is the uh, work of the compressor plus uh, H uh, H uh, 3 so that's why H4 minus H3 
so uh, also uh, the assumption here you have that uh, s3 is equivalent to s4 and h1 here is equivalent to h2 okay so uh, you can also be able to determine what is the coefficient of performance okay so the the coefficient of performance as we have discussed in the previous topic so this uh, that is the effectiveness of our system the effectiveness of our uh, refrigerating system so we have this desired effect and the desired effect will be the uh, QRF over the work input or this is the work of our compressor this is the work of our compressor so in terms of uh, uh, enthalpy so we know that the uh, coefficient of performance w is uh, dimensionless so again our COP or our QRF would be uh, H3 minus H2 all over H4 minus H3 so that is our efficiency ah no that is our uh, coefficient of performance the effectiveness of our uh, system of our re refrigerating system so uh, the uh, numbering here so uh, you can use you can use your own numbering or you can label it uh, uh, the way you want so my example is uh, from my point one is at the exit of the condenser and two three four so uh, you can uh, example you have your number one is at, at the exit of the operator it's up to you so as, a, as an example so uh, we, we could be able to follow the uh, the same uh, the same principle here that the energy in in order to uh, uh, calculate or derive the uh, refrigerating effect the uh, work of the compressor and able to uh, solve the uh, or be able to drive the uh, COP in terms of or as a, f as, a f as a function of enthalpy so uh, for the labeling is up to you so uh, my example is uh, from point one in the uh, exit of the condenser and uh, can be expanded and uh, this enters the evaporator the exit at point 3 where it is it is assumed to be the uh, uh, purely uh, vapor and you will compress that to point 4 then back again because it is a cycle so it is called a cycle this is a uh, single stage cycle still it is theoretical because we assume uh, some reversible processes like uh, isentalpic and uh, isentropic so here 
can be able also to uh, determine the QR here okay the QR or the cure jet with the condenser so uh, this is our condenser this is our QR when you are able when you determine the QR this this point one this is point four so uh, by energy in energy out so our QR this is uh, out is out the energy in is H4 this is equivalent to uh, QR plus H1 so uh, our QR will be H4 minus H1 okay so uh, that is uh, the uh, how to derive those equations by uh, labeling them and uh, determining the uh, COP, the QRF, and the uh, work input, and the Q reject. So, one thing here is also uh, considered as uh, theori theoretical because uh, uh, the, pist the piston dis displacement here is assumed to be uh, the piston displacement this piston displacement PD we have assumed that uh, it is 100% efficiency has 100% efficiency in terms of volumetric 100% volumetric percent volumetric efficiency so uh, the formula for uh, the uh, piston displacement this is uh, P D piston displacement assuming 100% uh, efficiency 100% uh, volumetric efficiency would be in this 200 times the uh, specific volume at 0.3 over the H3 minus H2 in our the v3 here is the suction uh, volumetric uh, suction volumetric uh, no this is the uh, specific volume at the suction this is the specific volume at the suction of our compressor Okay, and our H3 minus H2 that is uh, QRF. So uh, if given the volumetric efficiency, then uh, the cycle now is not anymore theoretical because we considered the losses for the uh, compressor mostly uh, the uh, assumption is for uh, the pipings in the uh, expansion valve and evaporator 
and the uh, condenser will be negligible so uh, losses will be concentrated or will be focused on the big factor of losses will be in, in the compressor so uh, that's why uh, this is called uh, we have that uh, volumetric efficiency so again this is the uh, piston displacement for our single stage uh, refrigerating uh, refrigeration cycle single stage vapor uh, compression refrigeration cycle okay so we have an example here Um, uh, an ammonia refrigerating plant following the uh, theoretical single stage cycle operates with a condensing temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit and an evaporating temperature of 0 degrees Fahrenheit. The system produces 15 tons of refrigeration. Determine the uh, Letter A, that is the uh, coefficient, coefficient performance, B, the refrigerating efficiency, C, the horsepower per ton of refrigeration, D, the rate of refrigerant flow in pound per minute, E, the power input of compressor in uh, horsepower, F is the uh, theoretical piston displacement of our compressor in feet cube per minute so uh, we have an example so um, again we will draw this, uh, this schematic diagram of our system this is our condenser here our evaporator and this is our the uh, compressor so uh, this point one point two point three and point four also we will draw the uh, pH diagram in order to analyze the system is the pressure versus enthalpy diagram okay so uh, our refrigerant here is ammonia okay or this is the ammonia you have the given temperatures So uh, the temperature given in the condenser that is um, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, or that is it is saturated. So you can also get the. Uh, pressure that is 180.6 PSI absolute so uh, it is acetalpic this is our point 0.1 this is this, is this saturated uh, liquid so uh, 
this is our point 2 it is a mixture of liquid and vapor so h1 is equivalent to h2 okay h1 is equivalent to h2 so uh, we have that compressor so we will compress that one okay that is at point 3 that is point three to point four so uh, you have the given values you can be able to uh, determine now uh, the value of the enthalpy uh, at point one okay so uh, our evaporating temperature will be this is zero zero degrees Fahrenheit or its pressure is 30.42 30 PSI absolute this is 0 degrees Fahrenheit so uh, you can be able to determine now the uh, by using the tables or if you have molar chart for ammonia so uh, or if you have the uh, saturated tables you can determine now you can determine the value of our h1 in the value of our h1 is the pressure at 80 point uh, uh, 180.6 this is the saturated liquid 180.6 or it is 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 180.6 it is our H1 so uh, by using your table so uh, each one is you have our each one that is 143.5 so our each one that is equivalent to each two This is 143.5 BTU per pound Okay Also here You can also determine What is this point 3 here The enthalpy at point 3 Okay So the enthalpy at point three will be the enthalpy at vapor state given the temperature zero degrees Fahrenheit and uh, thirty point forty two PSI absolute. So our H three would be 611.8 BTU per pound and of course we have our V3 This VG 
at uh, 0 degrees Fahrenheit and the uh, pressure of 30.42 so our V3 is uh, Nine point eleven six. This is uh, feet cube per pound. This is our specific volume. Nine point eleven six feet cube per pound. So, in our uh, problem we are to determine the uh, COP okay so uh, you know that the, you have the COP the COP is this one This is the QRF over the work input or the work of the compressor. So uh, QRF is H3 minus H2, and we have the work of our compressor that is. H4 minus H3. So H3 we know already what is H3 and we know also what is H2. So uh, we have no we have not yet we have no value we still have no value for our H4 so how would, would we determine the H, H, H4 here so uh, back to in our diagram so uh, remember that uh, it is the uh, compression is isentropic ok so uh, this is the entropy is equivalent at 0 0.3 to 0.4 so if that is equivalent so uh, S3 and S4 ok so uh, our H4 would be the enthalpy given this S3 here ok so we're in your S3 is the uh, enthalpy oh no the entropy at point 3 given the uh, temperature 0 degrees Fahrenheit and the uh, temp uh, pressure 30.42 ok so uh, and our enthalpy would be at the given S3 and also we have the pressure so our pressure is 180 180.6 um,
pressure absolute PSI absolute so from table so our S3 would be um, uh, this is 1.3352 This is in BTU per pound run kind so uh, by using your uh, molecular chart for ammonia you would uh, uh, determine what is the value of which for by the intersection of this entropy S3 and the pressure 180.6 so uh, if this is your you have the pH diagram for ammonia for example here so uh, this is your pressure is your pressure of your condenser here and this is the uh, S or this enthalpy 3 so uh, and you have your uh, Muller chart or you have the pH diagram for your ammonia so this is your H4 you can determine your H4 so by knowing that we have here the value of our H4 that is H4 is equivalent to uh, 724 BTU per pound okay we have the h3 we have our uh, the h2 we have the h3 and we have the h4 so uh, our letter a so we can determine now our, our cop okay so our cop would be uh, this uh, qrf over the work input of our compressor that is um, 611 this is 611.8 this is 611.8 minus uh, h2 is 143.5 this is all over h4724 Minus six one one point eight. So our COP would be so uh, six one one point eight minus one four three point five over seven to four minus six one one point eight. That is four point one seven. So our uh, uh, coefficient of performance is 4.17. This is the this is the again this is dimensionless. Dimensionless. It has no unit. Okay. And for the uh, um, call this the uh, refrigerating efficiency. For our letter B, we have this uh, refrigerating efficiency. 
the refrigerating efficiency that is the uh, COP of the uh, uh, this is the COP of this uh, theoretical over the uh, the uh, the uh, of kernel COP of the kernel. So, uh, so we have here the COP and this theoretical over over the kernel so what is the cop of our kernel that is a, a function the cop of a kernel is a function of the temperature so uh, we have this one temperature the lower temperature all, all over the th minus tl H is the uh, temperature where higher temp of the higher tem the uh, higher temperature. Okay, so uh, given this one, this is uh, the temperature here is 90, and this is zero or evaporating temperature. So uh, the refrigerating efficiency. This is the COP web this 4.17 this is taking the reciprocal of this this is uh, a 90 minus 0 all over uh, 0 plus 460 so we have the refrigerating efficiency that is 4.17 times the uh, quantity 90 minus 0 all over 0 plus 460 that is uh, 0.82 or 82 percent okay so let's go for the uh, horsepower per ton that is uh, this equation this the uh, HP per ton this is 4.72 over 4.17 so this is one point One point thirteen, and the rate of refri uh, the rate of refrigerant thirty. The rate of refrigerant will be of this QRF here. This is the mass. Uh, H3 minus H2 that is our QRF that is equivalent to tons times 200 is the tons of refrigeration times 200 so this is the conversion here so we have the mass here mass of refrigerant that is flowing in our cycle so uh, 
This is stance times 200 over h3 minus h2. So we have here 15 times 200. is h3 minus h2 so we have the value for h3 minus h2 so our h3 is 619.8 and our h2 is 143.5 so uh, that is 468.3 take the difference so uh, h3 minus h2 so uh, the mass here in pound per minute is, is uh, 6.41 this is 6.41 pound per minute this is the mass that is flowing the mass of the refrigerant flowing in our system okay so uh, let's go to letter E letter E is the uh, theoretical horsepower in our compressor okay so what is the HP of our in our, of our compressor the horsepower work input so we know that the uh, work of our compressor we divide that by 42.4 so that uh, we have a unit of horsepower so it is m this is the mass of the refrigerant times the uh, enthalpy h4 minus h3 Okay. Over forty-two point four. So uh, our HP for compressor. This is. This is 17. Okay. So, uh, the last letter F is the theoretical, displace, uh, theoretical piston displacement, considering it has 100% uh, volumetric efficiency. So, uh, the piston displacement here. This is mass times the V3, the uh, specific volume at the uh, suction of our compressor. So uh, the mass, we already solved the mass flow rate times, and also we also determine the uh, specific volume at our suction. So now we can uh, be able to determine the piston displacement. Okay, so uh, our mass is uh, 6.41 that is pound per minute, 6.41 pound per minute. Times the V3 is 9.116. This is. Uh, pound I know this is uh, feet cube per pound okay 
Therefore, we have the uh, piston displacement that is 6.41 times 9.116 that is 58.5 feet cube per minute. Okay. 